Okay, so we're going to learn two different ways to use a compass. One is using the technology of the smart board program, or the notebook program, which you guys all have. And the other is to use an actual compass. So I'm going to walk you on this through how to use a smart board compass. So the first thing you have to do is actually find the compass. So here I am in the program notebook, um, which you can get to that through your spotlight. Um, once you're in notebook and you have a new file, you can click on the compass up here. So it's in the measurement tools. It's not a ruler. It's not a projector. There it is, a compass. Okay, so we've got the compass. Okay, so once you have the smart board, there's a bunch of things that you can do with it once you have the compass. So like you can open it and close it and flip it around, but we're going to kind of go through this. So first off, draw. So click and hold on the pencil to move. So if I hold the pencil and I move it, look, it draws. And then actually if I go all the way around, what's a draw? A circle. So it's, it's keeping the radius the same. So the radius from the center of the circle to the edge right there stays constant the whole time. Okay, um, now notice if I had the compass closed, it wouldn't work, right? So if I do that, it's drawing, but it's just drawing that one dot, so it seems like it's not doing anything. The other thing you can do is to flip it. So if you click on the small green arrow, again, it'll only make sense if I have it open. Um, if you flip it, it'll go the other way, which is sometimes useful. Um, you can also resize the opening. So if I go pulling, oops, if I grab this part right there, it'll go smaller and bigger. So I can make really, really small, and then I'm actually able to spin it around and make a very, very tiny circle, so that's fun. Um, it's useful for copying links and things like that, like we've been looking at. Um, you can also rotate the compass, so occasionally you want to maybe take that length and put it someplace else, but maybe you want it to be... Um, horizontal so you can rotate the compass by pulling that small green dot up on the top and rotate it back and forth until it's the, the angle that you want it to be. Um, the other thing you can do is move the whole compass. You've already seen me do that. You just click somewhere else on the compass and actually move the whole thing. You can click on the main leg of the compass. If you click on the other leg you'll move the whole thing and then you lose your length so be careful with what you click. Um, and finally you can change the color. That's sort of more of a fun thing to do um, but when you selected the compass so here I've selected the compass. You can click on the pen in the menu bar and actually change the color. So now it's pink, now it's, I guess it doesn't do highlight, now it's purple. So there it is purple, so then I can click back on my arrow and then again I can go out and make a big circle. So that's how you use the compass on the smart board.